Hi there folks, welcome to Prophecy Update, where we look at current events in the light of Bible prophecy. My name is Bob Mitchell and I'll be with you for the next few minutes. If you haven't subscribed already, please do and click the little bell at the top there so you'll be notified when new videos come out. Built on the border between France and Switzerland, CERN is the European Organisation for Nuclear Research. They operate the largest particle physics laboratory in the world, where the renowned Large Hadron Collider, also known as the LHC, is situated. The Hadron Collider is the largest machine in the world. At 17 miles, or a 27 kilometre circumference, it sits 574 feet, or 174 metres, beneath the surface. Yet today, Europe is pushing forward with plans to build a larger LHC with a 100 kilometre circumference, or 62 miles. The cost of this project will be 17 billion US dollars, or almost 3.5 billion UK pounds. It will be, of course, a super collider. Here you see the smaller circle on the left, and that is the present LHC. The larger circle is the proposed FCC, Future Circular Collider. The purpose of CERN is to hurl particles in opposite directions at almost the speed of light and smash them together in the hope they can discover the so-called Big Bang that created the universe. And we know God created it in an instant. And that seems an awful lot of money to spend in order to find out just how the universe went bang and came into being. And while CERN does conduct other experiments, there is what could be a more sinister, a more darker and potentially terrifying purpose inside CERN's LHC. Some may remember the video that surfaced a while ago of a strange occult ceremony at CERN during which there was a supposed human sacrifice. Well, no one knows for sure if it was a real occult ceremony caught on camera or if it was just a hoax sent out for fun by those who work at CERN. Some joke. Sitting outside CERN's headquarters and donated by the Indian government, we find the large statue of the Indian goddess Shiva, also known as Shiva the Destroyer. Also, according to CERN, another experiment is to open portals to other dimensions. And folks, this is where things get dark. And what that means really is they are attempting to tap into the spirit world. And when they did at one time try this, they were shocked to see apparitions, unexplained phenomena that took place. But still, they press on to open Pandora's box. This is crazy, it's madness. In fact, some scientists warn they could destroy the world. But we know that won't happen because the Lord Jesus is coming back to rule the planet. In 2009, Sergio Bertolucci, in 2009, Sergio Bertolucci, Director for Research and Scientific Computing at CERN, told reporters, out of this door, you know, a portal, might come something, or we might send something through it. This potentially dangerous experiment caused an investigative reporter to write about it and concerning what is very possibly one of the real purposes for CERN's existence. And he wrote, If, when you think of CERN, you suddenly have a picture in your head of the movie Stargate, you are right on target. Tom Horn, the late and greatly missed TV presenter, publisher and Christian researcher among many other things, said some have posited CERN plan to use the Hadron Collider to open portals to other dimensions and possibly have already done so. The very name CERN comes from the horned god Cernunos, 
who is associated with the underworld, or what we might call the bottomless pit. In fact, some scientists at CERN actually call the Hadron Collider the bottomless pit, from the book of Revelation, out of which demonic spirits, including the spirit of Antichrist, are released in the last days. Could it be CERN is that very portal from which the spirit of Antichrist will ascend onto the earth? Well, in fact, there are six Hadron Colliders situated around the planet. CERN, of course, in Switzerland, France, is the largest. Some Christian watchers are asking the question, could it be possible? We are talking about six at least major portals strategically placed at different points, allowing the beings from other dimensions to access our world. And are they about to open the bottomless pit and release the spirit of Antichrist? We know, of course, an angel does this. Have beings entered our world through these experiments? Is this part of the reason we've been getting increasing reports of so-called aliens appearing in different places? I don't know, folks. I'm simply asking you. Is the Hadron Collider a portal to other dimensions? The photograph you see here was taken above CERN on June the 24th, 2016, as scientists began a new experiment titled Awake. Was this the opening of a portal inviting the alien fallen angels into our world? And what is the Vatican's connection to CERN? In September 2015, Pope Francis appointed the Director General of CERN, Fabiola Gianotti, to the Pontifical Academy of Sciences. The Holy See, the press office for the Vatican, said that the Pope had named Gianotti as an ordinary member of the Academy. Gianotti, an Italian experimental particle physicist, is the first female director general of CERN. She became the first director general since CERN was founded in 1954 to actually be re-elected for a second five-year term. And if you care to do some searching on the internet, you'll see Gianotti is also on the board of trustees for the World Economic Forum headed by Klaus Schwab. Gabriel Gionti is in charge of a scientific collaboration between the Vatican Observatory and the Theoretical Division of CERN. He also organises public conferences in sciences and has appeared on the Italian TV series Space Lab, where he addressed the issues of science and theology. Since 2010, he's been a member of the staff of the VORG, V-O-R-G, the Vatican Observatory Research Group. He studies quantum gravity and string theory. The string theory focuses on, among other things, the study of more dimensions than the four observable. In other words, perhaps other worlds, other beings. And the Vatican exchanges scientists with CERN. So some scientists from the VORG will go to CERN, some scientists from CERN will go and visit the VORG. The Vatican actually held a conference on the possibility of extraterrestrial life in 2009. Friends, these things are not coincidences. Scientists from the VORG going to CERN where they're hoping to open different portals to other worlds and invite alien fallen angels into our world, and CERN scientists going to the VORG, perhaps to talk to them about different dimensions and the string theory. You know, these are strange days, and the Vatican is fully involved in CERN and has an interest in the possibility of other worlds and extraterrestrial life, which we would call fallen angels, the demonic spirit world. For instance, researcher Anthony Patch has been watching and investigating CERN for some years and during an interview he was asked who, according to his research, 
is actually behind the financing of the CERN agenda for contacting the alien beings. Anthony Patch immediately replied, Well, that comes right out of the Vatican. He explained that the Pope is only a figurehead and the entire world is in lockstep taking their orders from the Vatican. In fact, in my book, The Antichrist of Vatican and the Alien Stroke CERN Delusion, when that was released, the United States Department of Defense announced a new UFO task force to find and identify UFO activity in restricted areas. That's not because I released my book, of course, but around the same time they were doing this. And also, when they did this, NASA hired a Roman Catholic priest to prepare humanity to welcome alien contact. Again, what we would call demonic fallen angels. These are facts, folks, taking place before our eyes right now. Supposed alien appearances, which are either hoaxes or demonic deceptions, seem to be on the increase. And just a few weeks ago, while the storm was still raging over the revelations of David Grush, a United States Air Force officer and former intelligence official regarding secret government retrieval programs, as well as reports of giant aliens being seen in Miami, the American government held a private, behind-closed-doors Senate briefing on UFOs, or as they are called now, UAPs, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. Now, that was held behind closed doors in secret. Well, of course, the press was eagerly waiting to interview the senators as they left the private meeting. Some looked quite shaken, and when interviewed, one stated that what they'd been told regarding the UFO subject is very serious and a matter of national security. Another said something very interesting. She didn't say the aliens are from other planets, but she said they are interdimensional. That's what they have been told, folks. They're not being told these are from the planet Zog or from Venus or Mars. They were told These beings are interdimensional. Folks, that's the spirit world. They come from another dimension. And that takes us back to CERN and the possibility that they are going to open or have done open other dimensions. But these beings from other dimensions have been around for a very long time. As I say, we call them either fallen angels, demons, working for Satan, from the spiritual dimension the Bible constantly tells us about. What CERN may be doing is breaking open the fabric of space and time to further allow these deceptive demonic beings entry into our world. Hence, the recent spate of weird beings being seen in our world in these days. It's all very interesting. Folks, Dr. J. Allen Hynek, who was head of Project Blue Book, and was a professor and advisor to the United States government, and astronomer and author Jacques Vallée, and researcher John Keel. These men had decades of investigation behind them. They all believed the beings behind the UFOs are deceptive, interdimensional beings and perform actions that border on the occult. Do you know, that's long before the Senate hearing. These guys had been saying this for decades and warning people, but no one was listening. In fact, Dr. Vallée wrote a book on the subject. You can get it from Amazon. It's called Messengers of Deception. Also, a classic book that you should get by John Keel is Operation Trojan horse. Friends, it's clear these men believed what many think are aliens from other planets are in fact deceptive beings from another dimension. The days ahead, friends, are going to be very deceptive days. Days in which the Bible warns us that if possible, even his very elect would be deceived. Now remember this stunning fact, friends. Take this to heart. Adam and Eve were deceived by Satan before they ate the fruit. 
Do you get that? Think about that. Adam and Eve were deceived by Satan before they ate the fruit. They were deceived while they were pure and sinless, having never sinned or rebelled against God. They were totally pure, yet they were deceived. How much more should we who are sinners saved by the grace and mercy of God be on our guard in these last days? Be on guard, my dear friends. Do not believe everything fallen man tells you. Test all things by the word of God, the Bible. And please, check out what I've said. And please, would you consider buying my best-selling book, Antichrist, the Vatican and the Alien Stroke CERN Delusion. We really do try to keep the prices as low as possible. Well, folks, that's all for the moment. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. And please remember to subscribe, like and share this video. Most of all, remember, Jesus Christ is your only hope. He's your only hope for salvation. Please turn and follow him today. The days are getting darker, but praise God, Jesus warned us about these times and he promises he's coming back to get his church. Until next time. God bless. Bye-bye.